I'm so busy, I'm doing projects, I'm working really hard, I've got family, there's just no way I'm going to be able to make time for this. Everybody knows there's not enough hours in a day. You've got so many other responsibilities in life that you just need to try and find the time to sit down and fill it in. But as soon as you put yourself on that road and that path, you can make the time. Members need to pay the bills. They have other responsibilities in life. We try and be flexible around the individual circumstances. The pot record is a diary of an individual's competence and it allows the institute to assess an individual's experience against CIAT's professional standards. It's up to the individual to relate their experience to our requirements. I got to work for some fabulous practices all over the world, but there came a time when I wanted to um, open up my own, my own practice and, and have that kind of control over my uh, future. It's enabled me to, to have a life, basically. It's enabled me not to be the person in the back office doing the endless hours uh, for somebody else. It was really the linchpin of my professional life, and I, it opened up a, a great many doors. I was able to say these are the services that, that I can provide as a professional, and then we won two awards here in Plymouth. It's just been the beginning of a professional life, which I found very rewarding. At the end of the day, it's a process, and you're doing it every day anyway. It's while you're doing your work, you're putting a little bit of it aside. It just becomes part of, of your workday for a little while while you organize all of the documentation that's required for the submission. There's a whole network of professional knowledge and experience that you can utilize to use within your pot record and to assist you to gain technician or chartered membership with the Institute. The pot records are broken down into subject units. Each unit has knowledge and performance requirements. Knowledge is gained from education, CPD and training. Performance is gained from practical experience. Guidance on the knowledge and performance requirements is provided by CIAT. For technician membership there are 11 units and for chartered membership there are 17. fill them in to make sure you can provide the evidence for them all. With each one you have to provide some background knowledge on it as well as providing actual evidence. I suppose I did think it was going to be a, a really time consuming process. Once you get into it and you know what you're putting into it, once you've done the first few units it's quite easy to do. You know you've got this thing to do and you, you put it off and put it off and put it off and then actually when you sit down and do it, it it's not as bad as you, you think it's going to be. The biggest barrier for the pop record is people think it takes longer than it actually does. If I'd have sat down and done it all in one go, I perhaps could have done the whole thing in a week. If we were too busy outside of work, with our home life, we were given time during the practice working hours to, uh, to sit down and, and look and try and collate evidence. If we've got any queries, there's always a director who could answer any questions which we weren't sure of. I think when employers realise that it's beneficial to clients, that gives them motivation to help the employees as well. In a competitive world, it is critical for us to be able to demonstrate to people that we have the skill and knowledge within the business to meet their um, more and more exacting demands. It shouldn't take much to persuade uh, your boss that it's very valuable not only to, to me as an individual but to you as a practice. When you submit your modules obviously there's a fear of um, that not being adequate. It's quite positive to be referred I think. It's not, oh my god I failed, it's Right, I need to do this now, and, and I think you will benefit from that in the long run. To become a chartered architectural technologist is important. When people recognise them along with chartered architects. It means that your qualifications become recognised. It looks like a set of questions, and ultimately that's what it is. But these questions are adaptable to each individual's um, circumstances, scenarios and experience. The pot record can be completed at the individual candidates um, in their own time frame. They can backdate the whole document against prior experience, ensuring they have access to the documents to prove their competence. It's meant having my own life, having control over my life. It's meant uh, lecturing, becoming a module leader, and spend time at the beach with my family, and then bodyboarding, and sailing. I wish that I had done this uh, sooner. Do it as early as you can. Sit down, get cracking, it's not as bad as you think. You can do it as a group. Set aside some time each week and stick to it. Just extend your working day by another half hour a day. Once you've, you've read it, reread it, 
it's simple. Contact CIAT rather than just sit worrying. There's case studies, there's forums. You can also discuss any queries you have there with other people who are going through the same process. And the workshops are very good also. And looking back, it, it gives you a chance to see what you have done and what knowledge you've gained over the years as well. I wish in hindsight that I'd started it earlier. There isn't another way to further yourself professionally as an architectural technologist. This is it. For more information and for other films and resources, visit our website.